Previously on Uongozi. After an extensive auditioning process that saw over 12,000 applicants apply, 240 shortlisted, and auditions held in four regions across the country, starting with Aloitoktok to Garissa, then Kisi, and finally Kitale, we finally have our 16 finalists who will compete at the national finals for the ultimate position of the Kiongozi. Our 16 finalists are from Aloitoktok, Kazia Khadija from Taita Taveta County, Solomon Mudera from Mombasa County, Felipe Saja from Machakos County, and Herman Muraguri from Nairobi County. From Garissa, Enoch Mina from Garissa County, Zainab Wario from Isiolo County, Elizabeth Duya from Lamu County, and Aidan Muhammad from Mandera. From Kisi, Jennifer Roby Chacha from Migori County, Evelyn Gakinya from Laikipia County, Rose Nyasuguta from Kisi County, and Raymond Chiang from Kisumu County. And from Kitale, James Leperok from Turkana County, Joram Amondi from Siaya County, and Hadlin Lusui from Nandi County. And who will be the 16th contestant? The 16th contestant, representing Kenyans living in the diaspora, will now join the 15 finalists to compete for a chance to win an all-expenses-paid trip to experience six leadership and governance institutes across four continents – Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. A total of 1.2 million shilling stipend over the six-month period and a 3 million shilling grant to implement a public project of their choice. From the diaspora, hundreds applied. Five were shortlisted from Qatar, US, Dominican Republic, Uganda and Central African Republic. Interviews were conducted through Skype and Eunice Songa, living in the Dominican Republic, emerged the winner. Uongozi will be presided over by three judges, John Gidongo, Tom Boya and Mweni Lundi. From time to time, there will also be a guest judge depending on the task. Finally, all the qualifying contestants from the four primaries and diaspora interview arrive in Nairobi and it is time to meet the judges for their first task. The task has been designed to test the contestants' endurance, perseverance, humility and servant leadership. Good morning. My name is John Gidongo and I'd like to welcome you here today. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to the task that you shall be carrying out over the next couple of days. As you know, we Kenyans have a special relationship with Mkokotenis. I'm sure at some point in your lives you've been stuck in a traffic jam and realized that at the stop of the traffic jam is a Mkokoteni. But for some reason, people don't tend to hoot at mkokotenis. They'll hoot at matatus, they'll hoot at other cars, they'll hoot at buses, they'll even hoot at people who are crossing the road when it's raining. Your target is each team will have one mkokoteni, and the target is to earn 3,000 shillings. The contestants are divided into two groups by the judges. However, the team that earns the most money is a team that will win. As working capital, we shall provide each team with a thousand shillings. Each team will put together a proposal of how this business can be improved, what kind of innovations can be made, and how it can be made more profitable. First is each team needs to, f to give itself a name, and each team needs to identify amongst its number a leader and the judges will be observing this. Now, at the end of this process, any of you will be going home. With that, I say thank you, and you can retreat to the common room. Asante. Not at all what the contestants expected. The teams head for their respective common rooms where they have 20 minutes to strategize on the task at hand. I'll take the note of the time, there's 20 minutes. So let's say we say five minutes to pick the leader, 10 minutes to pick the name of the team, and then five minutes to discuss whatever else we need to discuss. So and I'll take the minutes of the meeting. So we're picking the team leader, team leader first. Leader. Yeah, we're picking the team leader first. 
Does and, anyone uh, have any experience in corporate anything? Uh, or transport in general? I suggest having a team leader. I second. second. I, I'll, I'll, I think I prefer everyone to talk for themselves, please. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, but yeah. we have a team leader. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Let people talk for themselves. It's okay. I am not, I'm not okay. against that. I'm not against Fine, that. let's come up with yeah, a, I'm not against so my honest opinion about Enoch. For lack of a better word, I'll say he's a loud mouth. Yeah? He wants to be heard. He do not want to give people a chance to talk. And I believe in a team. That's not the way to go about it. Hello, guys. Hi. First, we are supposed to choose the leader, and then we are also supposed to choose the, the name of the team. Okay. I have a suggestion. Uh, the name of the group should be like uh, Kula Jasho. I uh, also have one, Kenya Moja. Kenya Moja Transporters. Three. I think we go for Kenya Moja Transporters. You can name the leader now. Thank you very much, yeah. team, for uh, electing me as your leader. Um, it's a doubting task. Um, I'll make sure I'll be a leader, a true leader, who will guide the team. Everyone is free. Don't feel intimidated. I'm part of you. Being chosen as a leader doesn't mean I'm, I'm above you. So everyone is free to speak his mind. Excuse me. Yes, yes. We have to pick the name. Yeah, that's where, where, I'm, where I'm going. But I felt that the uh, ambassadors, because we want to be ambassadors, so that is my, my proposal. I'm not idea? for her idea. Yeah. yeah. What name do you propose? Maybe Haba Nahaba something, or just a name that will identify us with the locals on Please. the ground. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking about okay, it. Okay, thank you. I came up with the name Urafiki Initiative. So I'm just suggesting a name like Tunaweza. Mzalendo Anaweza would work for this. Let's also give other people who have not at least yeah. Uh, yeah, contributed. Please, please can, I, can, yeah? I, can I put in... Uh, uh, Our chair was so uh, biased because it could even see how the nominations were done. Yeah, We didn't even sit down and deliberate as a team who to choose. And I just shouted, I'm proposing Adan, and then somebody just jumped in. I'm proposing here. As one house starts burning, the other team gets right into the task. I would uh, propose that Felipe, having sat on that seat and being able to see everybody, he should be our leader for now. I'm proposing uh, Wanyama, not because he's seated close to me. <laughs> How many um, are in support of Felipe to be the chair of this group? One, two, three. How many are for Wanyama? I was supposed to. to express confidence in myself by voting. Sure. It's about the team, it's not about leading. I support Wanyama. If I could be your leader in guiding you, I thought of going with uh, my brother's uh, name. I can assure you that I'm, I'm, I've been given a leader, but I'll be participatory leader. I'll of be, be handling the cards, I'll be handling yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. Solomon seems to be in charge of his team. You can put forward your suggestions. What do you think we can do with this mkokoteni? From uh, what I've seen is uh, you use mkokoteni to give services whereby uh, you transport goods or items from one place to another yes. for money. Apart from transporting them, you can put maybe um, cabbages in it and then you sell it to the people. Maybe maybe I've had a first-hand uh, experience in mkokoteni. We need two guys who are to cater for the Mkokoteni, then we need an extra person at least to cater for the welfare of others in terms of maybe security and, and, and stuff like that. And soon time is up. We were supposed to come up with a name, a team leader and AOBs. And by looking at it, we've come up with a, the best we'd ever had. Leo, Leo, Leo. After lighting and putting out fires in the name of deliberation, the teams head to Muthuro Market in Nairobi town to implement their task. But first, both teams meet with Bwanandirangu, a veteran in the Mkokoteni business for the last 20 years. I am called Bwanandirangu, and I am doing the business of Mkokoteni. And I want to give you Mkokoteni, I want to give you the work. So, sababu nyinyi mara ya kwanza mimi nataka nimpatie hii mko hoteli mnietee shilingi 1400. Kuanzia saa hii mpaka 6. Uchuge sana katika barabara. Hii iko nyuma ni break. So ukiona gari bere unaagusha nyuma. Ni mali gani ambapo tumeza pata 
makastoma sana okay kama unaweza tusaidia maana yake ni kazi mpya kwetu makastoma sana utaangalia lazima uwe na ujuzi na uwe mtu chap chap unaangalia kama mizigo imefugwa ama mtu anafuga mizigo unajua hiyo ni mizigo ya bali na pia hapa itaka utaki uwe mtu aibu ati una angalia wewe ni mgwana ati utaki kuuliza kazi utaibika so inataka kila mtu ujifanye ni kama wazimu lakini wewe sio mwenda wazimu kuuliza kazi Time to roll up sleeves and forget the cozy world of boardrooms. Time to experience real leadership. Solomon decides to appoint ministers in his Mkokoteni cabinet and separates his team into the worker class pulling the cart and the elite class doing the marketing. We have Felipe, Haman, Zainab and Admin. So they'll be pushing the cart. However, their role is also marketing. You find the customers. You do business, okay? Okay. Loading, yeah. pushing. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah. the rest of the team will be looking for the customers and also be liasing. Contestants are getting over the shock uh, of what the task is itself. Uh, some of them will be getting over the fact that uh, I think they assumed that uh, every task would be, uh, would be political in nature and that there would be a lot of discussion. Uh, I think what they've quickly realized from the time that the, the task was described to them uh, is that we're looking for uh, a, a different kind of leadership. Meanwhile, at the smoking house of Wazalendo, kubeba kubeba ni miambili mzibo yote nita kupelekea tamanini si baba tufanye miamoja hamsini na chupa mbukote ni sasa hivi ok sasa hivi nikoji hapa nikoji hasa hivi And the newest Mkokoteni operators in town from Kenya Moja get their first deal. The locals have no idea what to make of these boardroom style dress people claiming to be Mkokoteni operators. <laughs> They don't want okay to be helped. Okay, they feel as if when we're going to carry the luggage, they think that we are taking the business away from them and we are denying them that opportunity to go on with their daily activities. Back at the Wazalendo group, there seems to be a lot of love between Kezia and team leader Aiden. I'm going, Adam. You don't know what I was discussing with him. I'm going. Yeah? We're discussing on the price. Can you just stop tensing up? You know the rules. Adam, you know you are shouting. You know the rules. Which rules? Four. Four. It's okay. I was going. I was only seeking advice from him if we should reduce the price. You know? We're saying we should not reduce the price. It's okay, my dear. Exactly. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. But up to what extent? You know, we can't just reduce to 20 bucks. Let us see what we can get. Adam, please, let's do this thing as a team. You know? When you start commanding each other here and there, then again, People feel the can, you, can you please guys okay. stop the commotion? Please, I beg you, please. So then, where let us Meanwhile, Kenya Moja's worker class is getting down and dirty, literally. <laughs> And the elite class is desperate for strategy. 
uh, if we go to country bus, yeah. we will get people with bags that are ready to be carried yes. and telling them to wait and they are also rushing for, 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 for buses, bus. it may not be practical on our side. The people that are in this market already have some established contacts. They have the people that they are used to being served with. So you go to a person, the person tells you, know, this thing will be collected at a later time. So that is one of the challenges and that may cause us maybe not to meet the target. And the newest Mkokoteni operators in town from Kenya Moja get their first deal. Laundry in the mix. Ouch. Okay. Push now up. One, two, go. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Surgery, not push. One, two, we go now. Go. Yes, sir. Honestly speaking, the task has been very challenging. As the team, we had dressed very officially. And so when we approach a, a client saying that would carry their, uh, their luggages with a mkokoteni, they really had to take time and really digest whether what we were saying is really logical or realistic. Aiden is on fire, but does he have the tricks for the market? <laughs> Nina Mkoteni, naomba unipe kazi mipi ya ni shiriki. Tafadhali. Nataka ni kupeleke mziko penye unapeleka. Mi uniwajee kazi. Mkoteni yangu yuko hapa. Nechukua lete. Nechukua ni lete. Asante, asante. Unaingia kwa gunia kwa mkoteni. Tunachukua, tunachukua. Leta mungongo yako, mi stati mungongoteni. Mkoteni yako njoi. Leta mungongo yako mungongo yako. Tutabeba watu ba. Tumbo, 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 tumbo. As he would find out, the would-be client is much more fired up than he is. The task, to be very honest, is a lot more difficult than we had uh, even anticipated or even thought about. The logistics is very difficult. First of all, we don't know the terrain at all. So we don't know who's coming, who's going, who's bringing the luggage, who's taking away the luggage. So that makes it very difficult. And also moving around with the Mkokoteni itself around these very narrow, narrow alleys of the, of the market is very hard. Coming up on Uongozi. <laughs> Welcome back to Wongozi. Today, our two teams, Wazalendo and Kenya Moja, are in the Muthura market where they are operating a Mkokoteni business for a day. So far, the Kenya Moja team seems to be miles ahead of the Wazalendo team who are not having a very good day. <laughs> The fortunes of Wazalendo seem to be changing for the better, or are they? Meanwhile, Kenya Moja's journey to Donholm attracts a little more attention than any of them bargained for. Let's go! Where, where, where? Let's go! 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 Let's
It's an uphill task, but we are, we are doing it. We just have to do it. The journey is taking its toll on Zainab, who has an injury and has to get some first aid from our medic team. As it turns out, Wazalendo's fortune hasn't turned at all. We carried almost 180 kgs of, of mango. We are denied. The, the people who, who we helped in bringing the Mkokoteni all the way from the truck to the, to, to the site disappointed us. They said we are not, we are, we are not supposed to be paid. We don't know why. And, and this is the sweat. We sweated for it. Uh, I think it's simple mathematics. We need to be paid. They denied. They're going around the market with an empty cart. They haven't made any money. The first baggage they carried, they were not paid for. So they need to rethink their strategy. They need to think about working as a team. Everybody is going off in different directions. The pressure of Mkokoteni business is clearly making the Wazalendo edgy, very edgy. But thanks, the four of you go to that big lord. So this guy wanted to go to Buruburu, that's 10 km from here. Yeah. By the time you guys have come back, it's over. Yeah. Like we There's other people who wanted to go to Don Home, so it's very hard to find people who want us to just move something from exactly. here. Yeah. As Kenya Moja struggles, more experienced Mkokoteni operators are having a much quicker ride. 40 minutes after Kenya Moja arrives at the agreed destination, their client is nowhere to be seen. Where is the guy? That's a plus to find. He said he'll be here. station after the roundabout on your way to Mbakasi. And this, we have come here, we have not found the guy. Soon, they will learn a few lessons about trust. No. Because initially, I to be assisted to Tampata Hapa when you will see Tege. See Sasa, where? Back at the Wazalendo camp, there is a lot of misplaced anger, or so it appears. Come and negotiate this, but you don't negotiate I'm saying. I'm saying, you can't come. I'm saying, negotiate this. Negotiate this. Negotiate this. Start negotiating. Ask for the honor. 
If I'm to put the blame, I'll put the blame on our leader. Yeah? Our leader wasn't strong enough to hold people together, you know? You, you can't be biased. You can't just lean on one person. Yeah? We are all working as a team. The Kenya Mojo Group isn't having it too smooth either. Sunijibu mstatege. Yeah? Sawa umeno ume a a umeno ya kwanza nimekuuliza ya pili tukienda the person who who sent us I talked to him on the phone but he was giving me two contradicting answers it's better instead of throwing these potatoes like giving out at 19 1950 it's better we give to the police officers when chege comes or whoever whatever the name he is, uh, I can't remember his name, then he can come for it. Then say, man, you job, you don't have to do it. job, you job, you job. It's now three hours down the line. We only made 20 shillings. For heaven's sake. And the owner of the cat told us to come with 4,000 shillings and then uh, by six. So it's becoming difficult. It's worrying. Uh, guys are confused with what to do. But uh, that's the challenge. We have, to, we, have, we have to live with that. With frustrations taking a toll on them, and now 20 bob richer, was a lender decide to end the task 30 minutes before time is over? As Kenya Moja heads to drop the luggage at the police station, their time for the task sadly elapses. After a full day of running a Mkokoteni business, the task is over. And come the next day, both teams have to go back to their common rooms and write a proposal for Buana Dirangu, the Mkokoteni owner, on how he can improve his business. Okay, I think before we start uh, with the proposal, it's better we like uh, give uh, duties who is to type. And Herman makes a very smooth transition from a high-spirited Mkokoteni operator to the lead typist of his team. Uh, me being the lead typist, if I had to, to listen to all your suggestions, so we're like we have a person who's noting down, and I need uh, more hands, people who can type set, and we can type, we can, we can uh, print the, the proposal. It is now time for Kenya Moja to put their words to paper. First thing I can say, there may be accidents. In accidents, uh, I can say you may be hit by a car, over speeding car. And then uh, there is a risk of damaging the goods on transit. As Aiden and Kazia keep their feud well oiled to spread their bickering to the rest of the team. I feel, I feel as a leader, please understand to be corrected. Yeah. You need to be, yeah. yeah. You need to be. I mean, you need to be. You need to balance. Okay. You need to balance on people who you are choosing to give, because one or two people are the ones who are talking too yeah. much, yeah. and then the rest you keep on cutting. I thought they raised their hands. I can't, no, no, I can't no, no, know whether you no. want to talk or not uh, no. until you raise your hand. Eden and uh, Kizia, they were really like uh, acting like parrots. They don't want to listen to others. They are just like they. I don't know if they have conflicts. I don't know, but uh, they are noise. They are. They are. They are talking too much. Didn't really have the group, and uh, we almost uh, lost in at the end because the time was like cutting us short. I think it's a time. It's a time now. It's a time now. We get. We get. We get organized. Let's get organized. Okay. Yunus, Yunus, what you do, please, please, and get it from me. Eh? What you do? Uh, 
check one of the laptops. You are in charge of, of typing. Okay. Please, please, if that's the case, pass the internet, internet mm -hmm. thing to Kezia. Okay. Let, let handle, please, take one of the laptops, turn this to Kezia. Mm -hmm. Start typing by this. Add in your English and, and please type. But then you see, this is the bulk of the work. What is everyone else going to do? We will, uh, we will assign. We will assign. You're not going to dictate to me the introduction. Yeah. You have to write what you're going to write, you and your partner. Yeah. Do the introduction. Yeah. Then you do whatever the next section is. Then you fix too. It. And then you fix it and you keep passing to me as I keep adding it to the thing. Because there's no way I'm going to start typing the recommendations when you're using that piece of paper. 4,000 a day, you multiply that by 30, this guy earns 120. We can have some form of maybe sound financial uh, organization in form of maybe small entrepreneurial groups, you know, something they can organize. Kenya Moda seem to have their eyes fixed on the ball and they are wasting no time. In a few moments, they have their proposal ready for presentation. Back to Wazalendo, the team leader is clearly a troubled man and things are heating up. I think the person who didn't do really their part, let's say, in the whole task is Kezia because Kezia, in the discussion, she's a hindrance. She was given research. She said that she couldn't find the business, I mean, in the whole of, of the internet, that you can't find a business, I mean, business proposals are written every day. So the fact that you can't find our business proposal on the Google, then you just say that I don't know how to research and give the task to someone else. And she's the only one who didn't actually write words in the proposal. The group doesn't hold up very well under pressure, it kind of just falls apart. The more pressure that is applied to them, the more difficult it is for them to work together as a team and especially for the for Adam, the team leader, to hold the group together. He actually works even more towards sabotaging the group himself, unfortunately. Leo, Leo, Leo. And now Mr. Durango is ready to listen to the proposals of each individual team. First up, Kenya Moja. To me and the kapa mambo machache ambayo tumeona baadhi ya sida shida ambazo tulikumbana nazo tukiwa kule njiani tuliona mko na hatari ya ajali za barabarani kuaminiana kati ya mteja na mwenye mkokoteni tulipata pia hapo ni changamoto manake mwenye mteja anakuamini na bidhaa na wewe unamwamini na pesa yako kwamba utampata kule mbe, mbele then wazalendo mikakati mingine uweze kufanya wewe peke yako ita, itabidi ujihusishe na watu wengine ama na some organizations like the government so we thought that uh, ni vizuri kushughulikia hiyo kwa kuingia ama kwa kujiunga na wenzako mkue chama ama circles nadhani ya watu wanaweza kujiorganize wenyewe wa form sako mnaweza anza kuanza na group kabla hata mjafika sako for example Mwenyeza enda kurejesa group, tunajua group zinarejesu under Ministry of Social Services. Mkitaka kuwa upgrade, kuenda kwa SACO. SACO kurejesa kwa Ministry of, Development, uh, Ministry of uh, Cooperative De Development ni watu kumi peke yao. Maswa hilo nasema mtaka chafungu ni sharti ya iname. Ukitaka kitu kizuri, lazima utie bidii mahali. Sasa sisi kuonele hapo katika hiyo masomo, lazima kitu kimoja kitaharibika. Lakini hii kitu, kitu chenye utapata, itakuwa nzuri zaidi. Faida ya masomo ni kwamba sasa utaweza kutumia kompyuta. Tunataka kuona kwamba umekuwa mtu mzubora zaidi. Sasa utatumia kompyuta, biashara yako utapanua. Utaweza kupatana na wana biashara wengine labda kupanua biashara yako. Mr. Dirango is having problems with some of the proposals made. Ajui kama masomo liyo nishida, liyo nikuja ni igrie hiyo sekta ya mkokoteni. Ama kwa ule mtu alikosa pesa, huyo ndiye anaweza sema anaweza kula lakini wengine tulishidwa na masomo kwa hivyo tukaamua kuja kuingia katika hiyo nini mambo ya mkokoteni coming up on uongozi we not here to pamper or call a spade a spade don't call a spade a big spoon what were you doing this was not the empty mkokoteni circle race leo leo ni leo And now, both teams have to answer to the judges. Welcome to the Wazalendo and the Kenya Moja teams. Uh, congratulations for completing the task that was set out to you yesterday.
Today I'm joined at the podium by a guest judge who is Mr. Dirango. I think you may have met him before. Mr. Dirango, you can declare the results of yesterday's task. Kenya Moja ilinetea shirigi mianane na wazeredo ikanetea shirigi elfu moja na ishirini. The, the winning team is the Wazalendo team and there was a reward to be given. However, having reviewed the tasks that were carried out, the decision that has been made is that at, at this time, no reward shall be given to either team. Bwana Abdullahi, your team came back with 1,020 shillings. I really want to thank my, my team for uh, thinking very, very quickly. Instead of looking for large luggages, we resorted to looking for smaller ones now. That's how we made to one th the 20 shillings above 1,020 shillings. So, so you made, so the, the 1,000 shillings was the money that we had given you as a float? Yes. So in the end, at the end of the day, you had made 20 shillings? 20 shillings. All right, thank you very much. Mr. Solomon Wanyama, you were team leader of the Kenya Moja team. Yeah. Perhaps you can give us your experience of the task and how you came back with 800 shillings. When you look at the value of the luggage, that is at the lower side. And although my team maybe came up with 800, having spent 100 shillings on paying the person who was loading the luggage and 100 shillings on water, I consider it a very big success on, my, on our side because though we didn't have money, had currency, we had something worth 6,000 shillings. Bwana Dirango, is it in Mbili, uh, Nigani Uliona, uh, Munaza Kufanya Kazi Pamoja? Nikiagaria Kama Kenya Moja, I Maboya Kuekerea Kwam Kokoteni, Yo charge is Yashirigi Miamoja, Sikuona Nikwanini Rigia, Yo Rikua. Ninyinyu wenyewe mjitole muinue mzigo mwekere kwa mkokoteni sababu munataka pesa. Kwa hivu hapo wamuku mwitaka kuwa wasafi. Wamuku taka kuchafuka. Ok. Wazeredo mkiwa munaitiwa kazi niliona mteja na mwitia kazi mpereke buruburu. Munasema sijui saa ni baya. Na wala mtaki kazi mulikuwa wagwana sana nyingi. Na hiyo kazi yenu mimi hasa haiku nipedeza. On a kazi ya Kenya Moja. I'll hand over to my uh, fellow judges. Enoch, I'd like to, to hear from you. Why did you turn down the position of team leader and nominate Aidan? Uh, I had some little knowledge in the business, so I preferred uh, giving the input and um, uh, giving the idea on the table and having someone uh, facilitate the whole thing. That's why I nominated uh, Aidan. A question to... Kenya Moja, you had very vaguely agreed uh, with your client that Tutakutana uh, Uko, when you get there, he wasn't there. Uh, so tell us from a, from a strategy and a point of view, uh, why is it that that happened? I thought that that was the nature of the business. What you are supposed to do is you agree with your customer, and if at all uh, he tells you that uh, you are supposed to de deliver the goods at a particular point, you are going to get your money when you reach there. Did, did you at any time consider asking him maybe for his contact details? It wasn't uh, important for me to ask for, for his contact. Do you feel that um, your team leader played his role as a leader to bring you together to be able to succeed? Holding other factors constant, yeah, I believe he really tried his best. When you're in a team, you have to seek opinions from everyone. Yeah. You, you don't have to be biased on two or three people. You keep on giving them chances, yeah? The Kazia we saw yesterday and the one we have seen today are different as night and day. Uh, so for me, something must have caused that. Was it the friction with, with Aiden or was it friction with somebody else? What caused that? You're not here to pamper or we call a spade a spade. Call a spade, uh, don't call a spade a big spoon, yeah? The few things our leader didn't consider and uh, I felt he didn't want to be told. And uh, I'm not that kind of a person. I'll just sit down and say, okay, fine, just to please. Because I believe pleasing or people pleasing in a team, when you go down, we'll all go down. The other team members, did you feel you were given an opportunity to express your 
feelings because uh, Kezia here feels very clear that she was not given an opportunity to express her feelings by the team leader here. Kezia has a, a different attitude because there is an attitude that when you have it, even when things are done right, you don't see them right. Talk of something and uh, give facts. I believe in facts. When the leader puts up a, a, an opinion before we start discussing maybe to see if we can accept the opinion, uh, Kezia will come up and, and directly refuse and say it can't work like that. You don't just follow. You don't just follow because yeah, Adam is our person and he's going to be there for us, so let's kill Kezia to remain with Adam. That's not teamwork. That's not leadership. Kezia could be older than me. She wanted uh, things done her way. This is the task. All the rules are, are written on the paper. We are to follow the, the, the rules on the paper. And she wants uh, it done in different ways, which I, I, it's, I'm not obliged to do that as a leader. At one point, there was a suggestion uh, about selling the potatoes. Uh, where did this idea come from? If we sold the goods, we could have gotten much money than the, 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 the one that uh, the guy had promised us. Doesn't this raise a moral issue? Those goods do not belong to you. Mm -hmm. The best suggestion uh, as, uh, as a human being was uh, to sell, get your money back, and if at all he comes to us for his, uh, for his uh, goods, you tell him why you did that. I know that if you say that you are going to get your money, you will 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 get your money, and you will get your money. If you are going to get your money, Mugeda Jera. <laughs> we'll uh, release the teams uh, to allow uh, the judges to uh, deliberate a little bit and, uh, and then we'll, we'll be back. Thank you very much. The judges now have to decide who will be the first to be eliminated from Uongozi. To do this, they deliberate on the actions, participation and shortcomings of the contestants as they observed during the task implementation. It was extremely difficult for them to succeed. So actually it was pretty impressive that they got as far as they did. Who didn't move the group? Who changed the situation for the group? who basically was, as you say, redundant. I think she's one of the youngest members of the team. Mm -hmm. I think she's only 21. Mm -hmm. uh, and certainly for me, I get the sense that, you know, this is a young lady who is still growing into her own skin. Yeah, because she was very outright um, mm -hmm. and, you know, up to your face kind of uh, attitude. But the reality is, uh, sitting here today with the performance she has had over the last, over the last two days, uh, probably she is the one who uh, I would say input the least. We are just beginning to get a feel of them and unfortunately because he's the one who's least vocal at the mm -hmm. moment, he's the one who tends to follow as opposed mm -hmm. to taking a lead and making strong decisions and coming out with those decisions but he's good technically at getting things done. We are looking at people who set uh, yeah. The directors, people yeah. who show those um, uh, the capacity and ability to be able to lead, to get their point across, to convince others. Sometimes it's yeah. difficult. We saw there's been friction. You know, I, I, I do strongly get that sense of, of, of somebody who's uh, you know not really confident of themselves as yet. Mm. Though I mean, I can certainly see the potential is there, mm. which makes it a much more difficult uh, decision to make. After a lengthy deliberation, the judges are now ready with the verdict. We've been looking for leadership that is demonstrated by the ability and willingness of individuals to contribute. Uh, Wazalendo. You, uh, when we were announcing winners, we talked about you as winners for that particular moment because we were talking about money. But that money was 20 bob. Mbao. That is totally unacceptable. Talking about being a team leader does not make you one. It's your actions that speak for you, Adam. So you spent so much time trying to remind people of you as a leader and did very little work of trying to make sure the team achieves the task they were given. 
Of course, that does not let the rest of the team uh, members out. What were you doing letting Aidan run you in circles in the marketplace? This was not the empty Mkokoteni circle race. Values are, to me, the very core of our being. The lack of morals or the lack of values, in my view again, is largely the problem that we have in this country. Felipe, a few moments ago we had a discussion about morals and specifically about the issues surrounding uh, the possible sale of, of, of potatoes belonging to somebody else. That, that is an issue that has continued to trouble me. Uh, and it's an issue that we have had to consider in the decision that we are making this evening. I'm now going to announce the elimination. Jennifer Chacha of Kenya Moja. However, additionally, in addition to that, after consider, consider, considering the issue with my fellow judges, um, there's somebody else who's going to leave us today, and that is Raymond Ocheng of Mzalendo team. To the rest of you, congratulations. The process continues. We look forward to being together for the next challenge in this process. Asante Nisana, thank you. I've not lost. I'm also, even if I'll be living here, I'm, I'm already a leader. And maybe I've lacked something that others had that I did not have. So it's a challenge to me to go and work on it so that next time I may be among the winners. I think Kizia would have been eliminated, but uh, things did go well. And I got eliminated. Roby Chacha and Raymond Ocheng became the first contestants to be eliminated from Uongozi, but will definitely not be the last. Roby Chacha was eliminated for holding back and being non-participatory in her team's work, while Raymond was eliminated because the judges saw him as being more of an implementer than an initiator. Uongozi is looking for leaders who can initiate, participate and implement projects and because these two failed to demonstrate the ability to do so, they were eliminated. Next time on Uongozi. The race starts now. We don't know the destination, we have to look outside.